This is Kentucky Injury Attorney Tate Mayer with the Mayer Law Office. In this video, I will go over the best ways as to how to respond to a low settlement offer in a personal injury case. The first thing I suggest is asking the insurance adjuster for their reasoning as to why they have valued the case so low. Get on the phone with them. Ask them this question. Document their reasoning. Put it in writing. Be it as clear what they're missing in your case. And maybe you can provide them with evidence to counter their arguments. So always ask for what their reasoning is. Second, I kind of noted this already, but request that the insurance company provide their reasoning in writing as to why they are valuing your case so low. You know, many times they might not do this, but if they do, it's good to have they, they sometimes will put at least, at least a short version as to why they're reasoning, uh, but it's good to do that because all insurers have a duty to act in good faith. If it becomes necessary down the road to file a bad faith claim, it would be good to have um, their reasoning in writing as to why they are uh, making such a low offer. Next tip I have is that I would suggest that you make sure you have sent all favorable evidence that you have in your case to the insurance adjuster. Get on the phone with them and make sure that they have all your medical records, medical bills, any photographs you have that might depict your injuries or the scene of the incident. And if it's a car accident case and the vehicle sustained severe, you know, severe damage, send it those pictures depicting the property damage to the vehicles. If you have bruising, cuts, or wounds on your body, or have to get stitches or a cast or have to use a wheelchair or crutches for a period of time, take photographs of that. That's good evidence for pain and suffering purposes that you can send to the insurance adjuster and it might increase your offer. Next suggestion I would also recommend sending past jury verdict results in similar cases to yours you know, where the plaintiff sustained similar injuries and received a much larger, larger verdict than what is currently being offered in your case. If you can also find what the average pain and suffering verdict is in your local jurisdiction for cases involving similar injuries to yours, send that information to the adjuster as well. It could be helpful and you might get a higher offer on your case. My last tip of how to respond to a low offer is pretty simple. It's just a file lawsuit tell them that you're serious. You show them that you're serious by filing a lawsuit. An insurer is going to have to file a defense attorney on that claim. As, you know, as a law lawyer, I can never uh, guarantee any results for you or anything like that, but it's been my experience that close to 100% of the time, at some point during litigation, they're going to make a higher offer in your case. So that's all I have, but remember, if you have been injured in a car accident, slip and fall accident, or dog bite incident, don't wait. Call Tate. Also, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch more of my videos. Thanks for watching my video.